Hi my friends! Welcome to the channel English Professionally and this video is how to speak English fluently in one day. It's a very short video but very informative at the same time. Okay, are you ready? I hope so. So, how long does it take me to start speaking English fluently? So, it means how long time do I need really to start speaking? We usually say start doing something. Yeah, how Actually, yeah, how much time do I need to start speaking English fluently? A good question. Really, a good question. So, it is said differently. It means that people say differently. People say differently. It is said differently. But I have my own experience. So, I have my story. I reached fluency in English within one day. One day. So, I reached, so it means that I became fluent in English and uh, it took me one day. How can it be? It's virtually impossible. So, it's virtually impossible or it's almost impossible. Tell me about your experience, please. Well, I have a long story, yeah, but I'll try to make it shorter so that you can understand everything in a short period of time. Really, I'm not going to take your time, so I'll try to be as short as possible. I just want to ask you several questions first. No problem. You are welcome. So, what did you do to have such a great result? Can I do the same? Sure. You can do absolutely the same and I'm sure it will help you. You know, I used to learn lots of grammar so, used to, it means that you did it earlier, I, it means that I did it earlier, I did it in my past. I used to learn lots of grammar. I also worked on my vocabulary and listening skills. And I worked on my listening skills a lot, yeah? I spent lots of time on it. So, my level was getting better and better. So, getting or becoming better and better. So, could you speak English fluently? Not really. The fact is that uh, I could understand and answer. So, right, you haven't misheard me. So, misheard, it means that uh, you haven't misheard me, you have heard me correctly. Yeah, really, I could understand and answer, but it isn't fluent English, yeah? So, I was able to understand everything thanks to lots of English listening practice. So, really, I had it and it helped me a lot. But I couldn't, but I couldn't uh, speak English effectively, so it was a real problem for me. What do you mean exactly? So you can say, what do you mean? Or you can say, what do you mean exactly? So what do you really mean? What do you really mean? A like, good question. I mean that uh, I could say just a couple of phrases. A couple of phrases, maybe a couple of sentences, so a couple means two. For example, it was something like that. Do you speak English? Yes. Where did you study? Or where did you, or where did you study it? At school and university. At school and university. Okay. And okay, what's wrong with this conversation? So what problems do we have with this conversation? Actually, it means actually or in fact nothing wrong, but it's very far from being perfect. So it isn't uh, a perfect answer. So, really, I could say just one or two phrases and sentences or sentences and I knew, so the problem was, that I knew, I really knew how to say everything, so, uh, yeah, but there was some kind of fear, fear, so I was afraid and I couldn't open my mouth, yeah? So, theoretically, I could uh, say more than one or two phrases, but I couldn't, I don't know why. Maybe it was uh, a language barrier, yeah? And really, I felt very stupid and uh, uncomfortable, okay? So, it's quite easy to understand it. No one wants to feel this way, yeah? So, right, I mostly had very short conversations. So, they lasted for two minutes maximum. So, I lacked practice. I lacked practice, it means I didn't have enough practice. So, did you try to take private lessons? Yeah, really, a good question. Yeah, a good question about private lessons. Well, I did. It, it helped me a bit. But then I gave it up. It means I stopped. Yeah, I stopped it. 
So mostly for two reasons. So the first reason is that it was expensive. Yeah, you know, it costs money. Not so little money for me. And uh, I couldn't afford it. I couldn't afford it to take these lessons. Or I couldn't afford to take these lessons or I couldn't afford to take those lessons. Yeah. Okay. On a regular basis. On a regular basis means regularly. So I couldn't afford. Yeah. So it's better to say those because it's about the past. Some people say this, but yeah, let's uh, say it more grammatically uh, correctly. So on a regular basis, we're talking about those lessons. Okay. So, right. And um, you see, the second reason is that when you speak English with a teacher, it's another kind of conversation. I wanted to speak English with ordinary people and have a real English conversation, yeah? But not this format. I mean, student, teacher, I mean, I don't like this format, yeah? So, I like it, but uh, not uh, absolutely. So, to cut a long story short, yeah, what did you do after that? So, what really helped you become fluent in one day? So, what did you do? Well, it's what I'm talking about. I was fed up with my previous, let me call it, unsuccessful experience. So, fed up with means I was bored with it, yeah, I didn't like it. I decided to make a change in my life. Change, really, I wanted to change something. Uh, yeah, uh, what was it? And I'll tell you how it happened. So, I went to one international conference and got to know one native speaker from the United States. Yeah, from the United States, of course, from the United States. So, it means that there was one international conference in our city and I got to know one. It means that I met. I met this person. I met a native speaker from the United States. He tried, yeah, he tried to communicate with other people, yeah, with other people who were at that conference but he was disappointed, he was very upset, yeah, because they couldn't understand him and he couldn't speak normally with them, yeah, because of it. So, so the reason war was, yeah, poor listening skills, very bad listening skills, yeah, he was very disappointed and he couldn't find, you know, a good speaking partner for him, yeah. I think they understand it. Oh, really? Yes, that's it. Luckily, luckily, so it was really good luck. I had perfect listening skills and I was able to understand everything he was saying. Yeah, really. He was really surprised. Yeah, he was shocked and pleased. So it was the following. So, yeah, the following thing happened. I asked him and answered using simple and short phrases as I was used to doing it. Yeah, really. I was used to doing it. So, if uh, it's our habit, we use the structure, used to doing something, I was used to doing it. So, it was a normal practice for me, yeah, just to ask, you know, simple questions and to answer, yeah, and to answer those questions using simple words and phrases. But the main difference is that our conversation was much longer, much longer than, yeah, than two or three minutes, right? Okay, but there are some more things uh, I'd like to tell you. So really, our conversation was really long. I showed him around that place and we discussed many things. Many things, simple and more difficult ones, yeah? So that experience was new for me. I mean, having a long conversation, a really long conversation with a native speaker. I had never had such kind of practice. So how can you say it another way? So, yeah, what do you mean? So, the thing is that most people have got used to having short conversations, yeah? But it isn't so good for fluency. You don't have enough time to feel real confidence, to feel confidence, to be really sure that, yeah, you can speak English fluently. You need, yeah, longer, longer conversations. I remember one of my students and she really wanted to improve her English greatly, so mostly speaking and reach complete fluency in English. So, she really wanted to improve her English greatly and what did she do? She asked for, she asked me, yeah, she asked me, yeah, or she asked me for daily lessons which lasted for four hours without a break, yeah? Really? Yeah, really. So, just imagine it. So, she wanted to study English daily and uh, she took, I mean, uh, these English lessons, well, one English lesson lasted for four hours without a break, without any breaks at all, only English, just imagine it. 
So we had great lessons there still in my memory. Your result was unbelievable. So you need to have one very long conversation to become fluent. Okay, with the teacher, I think it's good if it's a native speaker and he or she isn't your teacher to have a real English conversation. So if it isn't possible, try to have longer conversations anyway. So it's the crucial point. It's the most important point, yeah? You need to be in this, you know, English-speaking atmosphere for a long time and you'll feel wings to fly, yeah? Really, <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. Okay, really, <laughs> wings and you fly, yeah? Good comparison. So what else can you say? That native speaker praised my English a lot, so it's a very important thing too. So it gave me confidence, so I felt confident. So I lost fear and started using them very effectively. Yeah, I started to use them actually different phrases very effectively. I was speaking English so naturally that I couldn't believe my eyes. So if your speaking partner tells you how good your English is, it's also a very big plus, yeah? So really you need to improve your listening skills a lot, so you'll hear some compliments about your English, and really you'll feel wings to fly. It's also an important thing when someone praises you, so it really motivates you greatly. So motivation is unbelievably great when you hear it, when you hear such positive words and phrases. Okay, thank you very much, my friend. So I really try to do my best, yeah, to get my message across. Thank you, see you. Hi, my friends. Welcome to the channel English Professionally. And this video course is how to speak English fluently in 10 days. Okay, thank you very much for your support. I really hope that you like this video, okay? So, are you ready to start? I hope so. You know, I want to improve my speaking skills urgently. So, I want to improve means I want to make them better. So, I want to speak better. And urgently means uh, as soon as possible. So, I need to do it now. And uh, I can't learn English for years. It means uh, for a very long time. So, for three years, for five years, it's too long to have a basic level in speaking. So, to have means if I want to have a basic level in speaking. So, the first level and the second level. So, not such a high level in speaking. Firstly, yeah, the first thing, as you might guess. As you might guess means so, as you might know or as you know, I don't have so much time. Secondly, yeah, very nice phrases, okay? Secondly, I need an advanced level. Advanced level means the highest level in speaking. So, I want to speak English really well. I'll never be satisfied with a basic level. So, be satisfied means I will never be happy. I will never be happy about a basic level. So, that's not for me, okay? Well, how much time do you have not much at all. So, really not much, really not much. Can you say it more exactly? Can you say it more exactly? So, just uh, can you give me some details? So, really, can you tell me how much time you have? Okay, just a little less than a couple of weeks. Couple of means, couple of weeks means two weeks. Couple of means two weeks. A little less than, yeah, two weeks or then 14 days. I think you know how to speak English fluently in 10 days, okay? And you can really give me a hand, a nice phrase, give me a hand means you can really help me. All right, I can help. I don't want to guarantee, so I don't want to guarantee that you'll be an advanced English speaker. So, guarantee, it means that I don't want to tell you that you definitely, that you'll definitely uh, do it so that it's true for 100%. No. So, it means that not maybe an advanced English speaker, but close to it, yeah, close to this level, but not maybe an advanced level, yeah. As I need, as means because, 
as I need to know much about your current level. So current level, so the level which you have now. But I do feel, do means really, I do feel means, but I really feel it's possible. So it's possible, yeah, you can do it to reach some fluency in English within 10 days. To reach some fluency, to become fluent in English, yeah? Within 10 days or in uh, 10 days during this period of time. Okay, that suits me. It means that's okay, that's all right, that suits me, it's okay. It's suitable, it's suitable for me. I want to know more about it. Okay, there are some extremely useful tips that you need to know. So, extremely useful tips means very, very useful tips which you need to know. What are they? Don't think that learning English one hour a day will help you enormously or will help you greatly. It means that if you think that you learn yeah, one hour English, one hour a day, and it will be enough for you. No. So, this thought or this idea is very naive. Naive. So, in fact, it isn't so, yeah? And it has no foundation. It has no foundation it means, um, actually, there is no reason. There is no reason for, think for thinking this way. No reason, okay? If someone thinks you can learn English, Fast, while learning English, it means while or when uh, you learn English, yeah, uh, when you learn English, yeah, when you learn English only, yeah, only, okay, only one hour a day, it verges on the ridiculous. Yeah, it's a nice phrase, so you can say it verges on the ridiculous or it borders, it borders. It borders on the ridiculous. It means that it's ridiculous, it's absurd, so it's very naive, it's not true, so it's impossible. And in particular, in particular mean, means in your case, in your situation, it's totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. It means that you can't accept it, so no way, no way, uh, I mean, no way is it good for you, so it isn't good for you at all, yeah, since since means because you have such a time limit. Time limit, it means that you have such a time limit. So, I remember that you need just, uh, you have just two days, yeah? So, we're talking about it, okay? Good. What do you mean? So, what do you want to say? What do you mean? Okay? I mean that you need to learn English much more than one hour a day. So, one hour a day isn't enough. How much? I'm not a magician. I'm not a magician, okay? And I just want to be as realistic as possible, okay? So I really want to be realistic, okay? So if you have only 10 days, all day, so you need all day, is it really possible? Why not? Why not? Don't learn English only in the classroom. If you do it, I mean, if you learn English only in the classroom, you always fall behind. Fall behind means you always, I mean, uh, show worse results, so your results won't be so good, worse results than your classmates, yeah, results. So you fall behind, so not enough progress, so your progress won't be so good. And your results will be below average. Below average, so average middle. So below average, so less or worse than middle. Okay, so so not you won't be a top student, not an average student. So yeah, so maybe you'll be oh, one of the worst students, not so good. Okay? So the most important point is that, or the most important thing is that you need to think in English during the day. You need to start with translating separate words. Separate words means some words, okay, phrases, some phrases, and simple sentences. Yeah, you need to start with it. 
Really, it's a crucial point. It's a crucial point, it means the most important point. So, you really, you need to pay attention to it, okay? It's a crucial point. Will it give me fluency? A great deal of fluency. It means lots of fluency. Yeah, you'll have another level of fluency. You know, I'll be straightforward. I'll be straightforward or I'll be direct. So I'll tell you what I really think. Most students fail, so it means that they don't succeed, they don't have a good result, because they use traditional and ineffective methods which can only lead to slow progress. So ineffective methods which, which aren't good enough, which can only lead to slow progress. So as a result, you have you only have slow progress, you only make slow progress. Can you give me more details? Right. As a rule, students have just one book and they study it with a teacher who checks their progress. It's so slow. You depend on yeah, you depend on your teacher and other students too much, really. It's a problem. You depend on it too much, so we used to uh, to express our negative feelings, to, our, to express our negative attitude, okay? So, it has also become a very profitable business. Business. It means that profitable business which brings lots of money. Yeah, yeah, good profit. When it's sad, it's sad, yeah, it's passive voice. When people say, um, when, when it's said everywhere that only this method is the best one, or only this method is the best method I mean learning in the classroom. I totally disagree with it. Okay, a nice phrase. So you can say I don't agree with it, I disagree. Yeah, but if you want to emphasize yeah your idea, you can say I totally it's it sounds even stronger. I totally disagree with it. Yeah. So I don't agree with it at all. People often make money on education and on students make money on education students here, yeah. They say that only learning English in the classroom with a teacher can bring the results you need, so can bring or can give you the results you need or you want, or you need to buy a special course, yeah, you need to buy a special course which has a miraculous effect. Miraculous, which is full of miracles. So you need just to, to buy for a course, so it's no, ma no matter, I mean, it is online or offline, yeah, and uh, you have this miraculous effect, okay? Isn't it right? Isn't it right? Not at all. You'll make some progress, but it isn't very convenient for a teacher, or it isn't very comfortable, con convenient, it isn't a good thing for a teacher, to tell you that you can use these or those materials, so these or those materials, yeah, so or some materials where you can also check yourself, where you can also check yourself, yeah, it's a problem. So, you know, <laughs> what often happens uh, in reality uh, is that so you need to wait, yeah, for a teacher, so, so no one uh, can check your work, just um, only a teacher, it's a problem, yeah? So you need to have uh, some materials where you can check yourself, yeah? So that you learn English by yourself, by yourself, so without paying money, and do it effectively. Teachers often want you to come to them, to pay, and it's a sad fact. Or as people want you yeah, to pay, it's a sad fact, yeah? So people aren't interested in your progress, but they are interested in your pocket, in your money, it's a sad fact, really, not so good. Uh, really? That's it. That's it. It means that's true. Almost no one is interested in it. Or few people, few people are interested in it. I mean, in giving you resources, I mean, materials, information, advice, or even saying, or even saying that you can learn English without a teacher. Yes, so just imagine if so an English teacher 
uh, tells you that okay you can learn with the English without a teacher so it can sound fantastic unbelievable but it's true it's possible so it is very it isn't very convenient for a teacher to say so it's a sad fact so I suppose means I think it's a vitally important point so it's a very very important point it's a crucial point or it's a it's a, a point of great importance or it's a point of vital importance a very very important point so you need to have a very clear idea in your mind that it mostly depends on you yeah don't depend on the classroom okay good so are you against taking English classes no way no way it means of course not of course not okay I fully support them I mean, I, full, I fully support these classes, so these lessons, if only, or on condition, if only, if we have this condition, you're provided with all the necessary materials, so with all the necessary, with all the materials you need to learn on your own or to learn by yourself and effectively. The thing is that, or the fact is that, the problem is that you're often not given these materials yeah it's a problem so you don't see these materials you don't know how to learn english by yourself yeah or the materials aren't good enough yeah it's another problem so maybe you're given some materials but uh, what about the quality of uh, these materials yeah it's often so bad yeah it's so sad okay okay to sum up so to sum up so if you want to, to make a conclusion I need to study all day for these 10 days and uh, I shouldn't right and I shouldn't be over dependent on my teacher I mean when I depend on him or her too much think in English in English or maybe not only in English yeah just trying to uh, translate something yeah in my head should be my regular practice, right? Is that all? Well, you need to do some more things. What is it? So what what is it, okay? So you need to have lots of speaking practice during all these days. So lots of or a lot of speaking practice. The more, the better. Or the more practice you have, the better. So it's a very important thing so I can take lots of English lessons every day for more than two hours am I right so yeah when you have English lessons every day and they last for more than two hours so am I right so is it a, a good idea so if you can afford it afford it it means if you have money to pay for it it's an absolutely brilliant idea it's an absolutely brilliant idea, it means it's a very, very good idea. So you can say it's a brilliant idea or it's an absolutely brilliant idea. To learn English with a teacher for more than two hours and every day. So personally, I have uh, this experience, I mean, when students ask me just, I mean, uh, actually uh, to talk, I mean, uh, to them in English and help them. And they just wanted, you know, uh, to study for more than two three or even four hours yeah this uh, practice uh, can take place yeah however however you don't necessarily need to do it don't necessarily need to do it it means actually there is no need to do it so you don't need to pay so you don't need to, uh, to take these English uh, classes so you can find different speaking partners so the problem is that you can't reach fluency in English or you can't get this fluency fast fast while talking just to one person so you need to any I mean I mean to have different people to talk to different speaking partners you need to get used to different speaking partners not not just to one person yeah it's a very important thing yeah it sounds reasonable so reasonable it means that uh, really I think it's a good idea yeah good idea Okay, so thanks. Let me go on or let me continue. Okay, I also guess 
you can't think in English and speak English all day. So I also think so it's very difficult, okay? So it can be really tiring, tiring or yeah, it can be really exhausting. You'll get tired or exhausted very quickly as as means because it's a very intensive training. So maybe you want to do it, you have this desire, but it's very difficult, yeah, for your head. Yeah. Okay, so what are you suggesting? What are you suggesting? You also need to listen to English speech a lot, no matter what you do. So when you do other things, okay? Only these things, not only. It is often said that you can reach fluency in English without good grammar. Okay? Yeah, it's wrong. If you don't yeah, it's wrong if you don't live in an English speaking country. Yeah. So it's I mean it's very easy. I mean uh, for native speakers to say so, yeah, just you don't need any grammar at all. Yeah, since they've been living in this English speaking country for a while. So for for a very long time. But you know that uh, your story is different and you need to learn everything. You, you need to know grammar. Basic grammar first, but not only basic. It's a very important thing, okay? So, how can you explain it? I mean that if you're unsure about something, you have to make pauses, really. Maybe you want uh, to say something in English, but you're unsure. Maybe it is right, maybe it isn't. And, oh, and you make pauses, yeah? Your speech won't seem natural and fast enough. Yeah, you'll be speaking slowly. What else can you say? You shouldn't be afraid of mistakes. Show me a person who doesn't make mistakes. Your main aim or your main task is to express your point of view. Express you need to say what you think and get your message across. So get your message across is a nice phrase, so you need to explain it to another person. So, so that they understand your message or your idea and get your message across. You also need to focus on most important words and phrases. Yeah, most important. You can't know everything. Please, don't learn unimportant words. Don't do it, yeah, which are never used. And don't learn unnecessary phrases. So, phrases maybe which are only in books. Yeah, you don't need them. You, you can waste uh, lots of time. So, all in all, or in conclusion, you need to do everything which has already been mentioned above, yeah? So we are talking about it, or we've been talking it, I think, yeah, very productively to reach more fluency in English. Okay, so I really hope that you follow these tips and uh, you enjoy our lessons on the channel English Professionally. And I want to wish you good luck, my friends. See you. Bye.